When we get started with video production, uh, we often wonder where should we shoot our videos. In this episode, I'm going to share what are my two places and the, basically the, the setup that I do recommend you in order to, uh, to shoot your first videos. Marketing Automation Ninja. Hello everyone. So, you know, when we, uh, we shoot our first videos, it's often a nightmare. So literally, because we want to check the sound, we want to sh check the setup of our studio, uh, we want to check the, the lightning, the light, sorry, uh, of the, our, um, our room, etc. And, um, and over, often we overcomplicate things. So what I absolutely do recommend you in order to get started is to shoot outside. Uh, I absolutely recommend uh, to go in the nature side because in the city it would be way too complex with too much noise, um, too crowd, too much crowd, crowded, the sound might not be good, etc, etc. So if you can find, and I'm pretty sure you can, uh, find a beautiful place, a country place around where you live uh, or where uh, your, your office is, you should be able to shoot tons of videos in a row uh, and that will, uh, yeah, that people will appreciate the place uh, that you will have on the, on the video and, um, and they will also appreciate the fact that you will have tons of light because that's the most important part of shooting video. This is the lightning, the light. Now, the second configuration, in the case of uh, shooting in a studio. So why we would need to, uh, to shoot in a studio? Um, the first thing is because in a studio, we really master the environment. So no matter what happens, if it's raining, etc., we can shoot our course or our promotional video anyway. So uh, if you want to shoot in a studio, the first thing to, uh, to double check is to have enough light. And often we need to have some light box, uh, kind of a a, a big lights projector that will increase the, the, the light in your in your room that's really the most important part for the the other part of course i do recommend you to have a a, a, a beautiful environment behind you uh, it could be a bookshelves it could be a any, anything but it no don't just uh, uh, aim to get just a white um, a white background i feel like it's a, a bit boring um, on the other side i also do not recommend you to use a green background uh, the, the green screen background to, in order to put something else because um, it's it's a bit complex and the quality is not always there uh, so i think it's it's too complex especially when we get started, uh, it's way better to just keep things natural uh, because sometimes people might think, oh, yeah, that's a bit fake. Uh, look, uh, he looks like in, in this place, uh, but it is not, uh, he is not, etc. So I, I really, really, really recommend you to, uh, to keep things in a natural way, either outside or either in a studio with just a bit of light and shoot with your phone. Uh, it's going to be easy. Uh, you are not going to wander, wander, uh, what's the, the big setup, etc. And um, yeah, that's to me the best configuration in order to get started outside or in a studio that you master with your phone. Wishing you a great day and uh, talk again very soon. Bye. Marketing Automation Ninja.